Alright guys, what's going on? And welcome back to another video. So, as the title states, this sucks. So, recently you've seen that I purchased six of the Koi Guppies, and they all died days after each other. And I had a total of 16 fry. Had separated among all three of these, and now there's like nothing left. So the only thing I've left are the ones in this tank. So I grabbed the remaining ones over here, which are, I believe, four. So they randomly just stopped wanting to live. That's pretty much the only way I could describe it. So they went from being perfectly fine one day, perfectly fine in the morning, to starting to swim on their sides, and within minutes they would just die. Um, I think that would have to do something with maybe from where they came, but not much I could do there. Um, so we have four remaining ones, and they're now in this tank right here. So I'm going to raise these guys in this tank with this water. And right now these guys have been the strongest of them all. They're the best swimmers. They seem to really thrive, always eat. So I'm hoping that those guys are actually good to go now. If they all end up being females or not the same right ratio of the males and females, I'll actually end up crossing them with the superior reds over here. I was going to do that anyway, but now that I have less, I think that's what I have to do to increase their population. And now, let's get to this tank. So right in here are my blue velvet shrimp. You can see some right down there on the front because I just fed them. These guys are doing awesome. And there is a bunch of shrimplets in this tank. So that's just another project that I've been working on. And then lastly, back over there is a nebula steel. Nebula steel, sorry. And there's one male with three females. And then my own strain, which I actually added a nebula steel male in there as well to add some more diversity to like their body pattern. Uh, still waiting on those sponge filters. I did order them. They have shipped. Uh, well, no, not sponge filter. Uh, the matten filters. So these are going to go in the back of all four of these. So the Koi Guppy tank right here. I do still have to change the label on the tanks. So one back there, another one this one, there, and that last one in the back. So once that's done, I should have these set up the proper way that I want. So it hasn't been too much other than that in the fish room. Um, I have been working on Guppy Fish Enthusiasts. We're pushing 16,000 members. So guys, go check that out. Um, request to be in the group. You could drop some likes, some comments. Uh, picture contests every month. We got a bunch going on in there and a bunch of members. So if you ever have questions and you want live answers from other fish keepers, you can definitely do that right in there. Post your pictures for comments and critiques. Um, what else? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, I have been doing these product spotlights, so the product products that I use, so a few of these would be like Hikari sinking pellets, those kind of stuff. And I dropped them in comments there so other members could share their experience. So my last one was for the Seacam Prime. And from what I've read, and from what everyone else is commenting, that seems to be the most popular dechlorinator that others have used. I myself have also used an Akari brand, which it does work properly and very well, but I usually reserve that for my palms. I don't really use it inside. I don't like the texture, how it's more like more of a gel. So that's pretty much all we've been having. Um, still waiting for the fish to continue to breed. So the quick guppies are growing, like I mentioned before. Hopefully these four now survive or else pretty SOL with the guppies, uh, koi guppies, even though they are my favorite strain. So if anyone has any US bred koi guppies and you've had them successfully, let me know because I would definitely, definitely be interested in picking them up. Dropped a good amount of money on these guys for pretty much a major failure again. So this is the second time I've imported, second or third time I've imported guppy, the koi guppies and I'm just gonna say, I kind of give up on importing them. They don't do too well. So I'm hoping that with these fry, which I've gotten lucky in getting fry, 
But the rest of these guys do well, so fingers crossed with that. And if they don't do well, I'm definitely giving up on them. Uh, maybe in the future when they're more readily available in the States, then I'll go back. Then we have the Blue Velvet Shrimp. Breeding like crazy. My own strain doing pretty well. And back there, the Nebula Steel. And those guys are doing awesome. Uh, still waiting on the Superior Red Female to give birth. And then we have the, uh, the Pond Guppies outside. And my ponds have been taken over by Water Hyacinth. Start off with literally one plant, and now I have about like 20 or 30 very, very large ones. Uh, I'll make a video of them in the future. I actually do have a video in the works, just haven't posted it. Uh, still messing around with the ideas for the live streams. So I'll be checking those out and doing them. Uh, I just gotta figure out how and when and what topics. So if you know what topics you would like to hear for live streams, Drop them in the comments below because they can become comments for future, not comments, topics for uh, future videos. So again, drop a comment below on topics you would like to hear for live streams and for other people to discuss. Before I do a live stream, I'll release a, um, just a reminder. So you'll see that and you guys come and check it out. It'll be my first attempt, so my first one might not even have a topic. It might just be some random QAs. And what else? I had another thing on my mind that I wanted to discuss. I'll be checking out some live streams today. I think uh, Cram Co-op has some coming up, so I might be in those. So if you, this video is out before the live stream, check it out. It'll be there. Most likely, I'll be there. Uh, I might or may not comment, but I'll definitely be listening. And that is all for this video, guys. So check out Guppy Fish Enthusiasts on Facebook. Check the description for some links to products I actually use. They are affiliate links, and they do help the channel grow. So anything you purchase through those definitely help the channel, and it is greatly, greatly, greatly appreciated. These are products I highly recommend and products I use in my own fish room. And if you don't believe me, there are some here, there, up there, over there, in every corner, right, especially there. So with that said, thanks for checking it out. Drop a like because those help the channel and the videos a lot to help the channel grow. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I hope you enjoyed the videos and there's more to come. Check out all previous videos and drop a subscribe. And if you're returning, what's up guys, drop a link below. And by link, I mean like and a comment. See you guys. Have a good one.